Hey guys, it's Mark here, um, and in today's video, I have something a little special for everyone. Um, today, we're playing Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy, um, which is a game made by Naughty Dog, and I'm pretty sure it came out in 2001. So, yeah, um, yeah, new game, and all that. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north, 
far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Sweet! So, this after device that... is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Okay. So this is called this is a place called Geyser Rock, and it is basically Tutorial Island. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very uh very uh tutorial heavy. So these things here are precursor orbs, those little floating um egg things in the background there. I don't wanna go too close because there is a trigger there that'll trigger a um cutscene esque kind of thing. Um yeah, so there's 50 here on Geyser Rock, and this will be a 100% playthrough, even though I've already got the Platinum. But, yeah, hopefully we'll have some fun. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. So... There are a total of 2,000 of these throughout the entire game, and you need to get all of them to get the... This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. So yeah, there are 2,000 precursor orbs. You need all of them to get the platinum. There are 101 power cells, but I think you can... You need 101 for the trophy, but for secret ending, you only need 100 for. So yeah, and then it just sort of stuck like this. Alright, another cutscene. Hold on. So these things are scout flies, and basically you can either do this, so a jump and then a, a double jump and then a square, so... <laughs> So yeah, there's seven of these in each area. Um, so yeah, you can do the ground pound. I don't think it's ground pound. Whatever this, whatever this is, to break the box. You can also. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but you can also do a punch and then an uppercut, so... You can do that, but you have to, like, be at the perfect distance. I don't even jump then. But yeah, so the movement in this game is pretty good. Okay, so 
the main like thing in this game is eco. Now that blue stuff over there is one of four, or technically six, but once we won't talk about the other two till a bit later. So you've got blue eco that makes you go faster, you've got red eco that does more damage, you have yellow eco that kind of shoots like a fireball out of your hand, um, and then you got green eco which is your life, which is up in the top left corner. There's three little segments. You can have up to four hits. If you collect 50 green and you're missing a life, like a life panel, it'll fill that back up. But yeah. So as you can see, I move a lot faster and everything's attracted to me. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. So. <laughs> Notice how each Blue Eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. I believe there's only a couple of these doors that exist in this game, but they're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we'll have another thing here and then I'll talk to you guys after. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. So yeah, as Kira said, this is a blue eco vent, and it will give you a full heater. Um, and yeah, so you have more time to use blue eco. Now, of course, there are vents for every type of eco. However, some of them are capped, which means that they don't have the eco flowing through, through them. So. That's something we'll have to bring look into, into all kinds in a future episode, which is years. definitely not a uh, hint yet, but we will find out some information. Those little green balls See. of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. So yeah. These things are in abundance everywhere. You can jump once. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go. 50 and 50. That means we only have one more power cell to get and then we have hundred percent of this place. Hundred percent, baby. So yeah, now we're back at the start, and this will kind of finish off the episode. There's a, there's an actual cutscene after this, and then yeah, I'll uh, yeah. training boys but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead and uh, no problem we got the moves eh jack we'd love to stay in chat big green but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures fine fine adventure away then and while you're out adventuring why don't you make yourself useful my darn green eco collectors are clogged up again Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! And herein lies next episode. So if you enjoyed today's video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in episode 2 which will be out on Tuesday. <laughs>